Hey, what's up, what's up? What it do, what it be like, what it do, 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 what's up? I'm dropping potatoes, y'all. <laughs> so y'all can guess what I'm making, maybe, I don't know, but it got something to do with potatoes. And um, I'm gonna show y'all a picture of it. It looks so good and I must make it. It's called onion and bacon quiche. Yeah, and as you can see, they go fury. Say hi. You probably uh so short they can't see you. But this is what I'm making, guys. Hope everything's doing well. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna put the recipe there. Green. But, um, right now I'm cutting up some potatoes and onions and peppers. It's gonna have onions, peppers, um, green onions too, some bacon in there. Um cheese and milk and all that good stuff yep so with that being said we shall be back and back. Back, 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 hope back. To, hoping that you guys will watch the video and enjoy all right tt305 i'll be back bye <laughs> All right, all right, TT305, I'm back. I hope y'all can see what's going on over there because that's what I'm going to start on. All right, so with that being said, we got the tomato, uh, three potatoes here. I'm going to shred them. Let's see if y'all can guess what. I already told y'all earlier, but I'm making something else too, also with these potatoes. And I want them to come out like that. You see that? That's how I want them. Okay. So I got three of these to go. <laughs> oh, what's up? What's up? What it do? What it do? What it be like? What it do? Do do. What y'all doing, huh? What y'all doing? Y'all know what I'm doing, right? I want to know what y'all doing. Comment down below. Tell me what you doing. Mm-hmm. Where you watching me from? CT305 want to know. Where you watching me from? Mm-hmm. And if we got my subscribers up in here, how y'all doing? I hope all is well. I hope you're going to enjoy this, this new recipe called onion and bacon quiche and a surprise. That's all I'm going to say. Once I get it together, then I'll tell y'all because this is not all I'm making. It's going to be so yummy. <laughs> yeah. So with that being said. Let me finish up with this and I'll be right back. All right. All right. DT305 TV. All right. All right, guys. I'm back. So with that being said, I didn't already shredded all the potatoes. Can y'all see that? Let me see if y'all can see that. All of that. I done shredded all the potatoes. Um, I done cut up the peppers and the onions and about to dice them up in the blender. And... I'm trying to, so when you shred these potatoes, you know potatoes carry a lot of water also. So in order for me to make this ingredient that I didn't tell y'all, I told y'all this I was going to be making, but this consists of something else. I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all. This is called potato pancakes. Yes, but it's TT305 style, okay? Not just the original blend, okay? So you definitely, no matter what, got to get all that water out. So with that being said, I'm going to take a paper towel again and put it all in the inside of it and really, really squish all that water out of it. Because if you don't, it's not going to come out right. So this is how I do it. I squeeze all that water, let it soak up in there. Mm-hmm. Then take the bowl. I dry my bowl out where it won't have no uh water in it. 
and just put them right on in there. Shake it out. Shake it all up in there like that. All like that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because potatoes carry a lot of water. And they say you have to squeeze all that water out so you can have the perfect potato pancakes. Yes. Yeah, buddy, we're gonna have it and with some potatoes. applesauce and hmm, I don't know. No, we'll have something else with it, but you'll see. Fury's asking me questions, y'all. Like, what we gonna have with it? <laughs> so we did that. So we're gonna put that to the side. Uh, also, too, um, my other ingredient that I'm making is the onion and bacon quiche. I already sauteed the bacon pieces. So we got that over here. I know what we're going to have with it. We're going to have green with it. <laughs> so I'm resting my hands off. Here, put this over here in the garbage for your mom. Ew, I look dirty. Girl, that's right, because I just squeezed all the water out. You throw it away. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh -oh. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this going. Let me make sure I push these all up in here, y'all, because I don't want them, I don't want them to be uh, like a small, tiny, tiny bits and pieces, but kind of chunky, rough cut. So let me see how that comes out. Let me see. Yes, that's good enough. So let's take that pepper out and see. Put that back over here. Take that off. Give me a spoon here. Let's up. Get all this in there. Cause we're gonna need all of this for our other um for our ingredients. I already told y'all we making uh potato pancake and we're making an onion and bacon quiche. Okay. All right. So I got one more thing to chop up. And then after that, we're going to come back. So let me rest this off here. Let that run in there for a minute. So we got that done. Right? <laughs> I can't wait, y'all. I'm so excited. I haven't made no potato pancakes. Oh, my goodness. I don't think ever. If I did, I don't remember. I just remember always watching my mom do it and be wanting her to put some more in there. You know what I'm saying? Now, I had bought some fresh garlic. But for some reason, when I opened up the garlic, it was right and black. And I was like, oh, no. I had to take that back to the store, which is yeah, Publix. I was very, yeah, I was very surprised when it comes to that. I'm about to cut another onion because I want a rough cut uh, one for the um, quiche. See, y'all, see what I'm talking about? This is from Publix. I, I, I don't, ooh, that makes me mad. It's making me mad. We just bought these onions today. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I don't like that in my onion. Even though, yeah, I know my mom would have said, girl, cut that off and keep it moving and rinse it off and blah, blah. No. Anybody trying to get sick? She would have said, cut that part off. That's what she would have said. And she right, basically. But I'm doing a video. I don't want nothing looking black and all that on uh, my video. You know, y'all? <coughs> All right, let's move that to the side. <clears throat> and I like to rinse my board off again. Mm -hmm. All right. Just gonna cut up a onion here. And one. Mm, how's y'all weather? We getting warm up in this camp. Stuff is growing. I'm about to show y'all my, um, my bulbs that me and Fury plant is really coming along good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're actually getting some progress. Yeah, we are. I'm so, 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 so glad. Absolutely glad. Yep, first. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And like I said, I'm making two things. The onion bacon quiche and potato pancakes. So... And I don't want to waste no time. 
But with that being said, TT305 will be back. All right. All right. All right, guys. I'm back. Just wanted you to know I am sauteing more peppers and onions because I wanted more in my quiche. Okay. So I'm just letting y'all know that's what I'm doing with the green onions. And I'm going to put a little tad bit of red peppers in there so I'm gonna sit y'all down and I'm see make sure y'all can see that get y'all a little closer shake that up around a little bit and I'm just gonna put a little bit of peppers just a little bit there's a big one in there y'all ah that can't go in there like that let's take that one out I'm gonna cut it cut it down some but uh, just a little bit. I wanted a little bit of peppers and, you know, uh, to go in my, uh, I wanted some color, basically. I want a little color in my quiche. So that's why I said it's Tina's way. I'm not going to follow exact ingredient. I always want to put a little extra something, something up in there. Because that's just what TT305 do. I'm going to add my own extra extra ingredient up in there okay yes okay so i want to just want to let y'all know and i'm gonna put a little bit olive oil because i don't want my onions or anything to burn because i'm just trying to saute them so i can put it in the rest of my pie mix my um quiche mixture and the oven is already set to um, 450. Hold on. I'll make sure. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely to where I want it to be. So, yeah. So, basically, with that being said, y'all see that? Let me get a little closer so y'all can see that. Num, num. <laughs> see the different colors? The light greens. Um, a little orange in there. Yeah. So once I get a little bit golden, I'm going to go ahead and you know, I'm popping peppers all the way across the stove, y'all. Okay. And let me let y'all see the quiche one more time because like I said, I wanted a little bit more up in there because it requires a lot of onions, sauteed onions. And that's what I wanted and cheese I had added cheese in there me and Fury I let her put some in there so with that being said I think this is ready to go right up in there so I'm gonna bring y'all back over here right here see if y'all can see without it uh y'all can see that and I'm gonna put that right on right on in there can y'all see that See how good that is? Like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on in the pie. Like that. Num. Ooh, this gonna be so good. And I'm gonna put some more cheese up in there. Cause I want my quiche to have a lot of cheese up in here. You know what I'm saying? It got the bacon in there, onions and peppers. And I just want a little bit of cheese. It's gonna be so good. Yes. And like I said, I could have made my pie crust from scratch, but guess what, child? Hmm. Uh -uh. Not this time, not today. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of more cheese. And this is the piece of blue cheese where you have the mixture mozzarella and sharp cheddar cheese. And then we're gonna go ahead and top it with some paprika cause I like color. I want a little color, hold on. What's this one? That's chili, ooh, we don't want that on there. Where my paprika? Pa -pa 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 paprika. I always have to look for one spice for some reason. Sonny, oh, we ain't gonna put no paprika in there this time if I can't find it. All right, y'all. So with that being said, hmm, put, I already put parsley in there. 
I'm going to put a little, because I got to have some kind of red. A little tassels on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of red up in there. All right. That look good. We got to put this in the oven. And that's going to be in there. 450 and then 15 minutes. I'm going to reduce it to 350 and all together it says to have it in the oven for about hmm, it says baking time 30 minutes. So 15 minutes on 350 no 450 and another 15 minutes on 350. Alright, alright guys. I'll be right back. TT305 TV. Hey guys. TT305 is back. I'm getting the pan ready for the potato pancake. Num num. And I got some sausage over here cooking because I want some of that on the side. Remember I told you this is going to be like a brunch. Now, my potatoes, I done waited so long that they got a little brown, which is not, I don't know, not too advertising. But at the same time, we about to go ahead and get them going. I put some cinnamon in there because I want cinnamon in there just because. So here we go. Can y'all see me? Okay, just like that. Yes. And we want them golden brown and crispy. Okay. That's one. Nice and golden brown. Okay. Just like that. Alright, make sure the fire is up at a medium. Alright, and then we're going to also check on them sausage because we don't want them sausage to burn. I don't know if y'all can see. These are the sausages that's cooking right now, okay? Just wanted to show y'all. They're not done yet. They're cooking. But, um, let's get this, um, potato pancakes nice and crispy. That's what we want on each side. Brown and crispy. Yes, CT 305's potato pancake. You know, there's so many varieties and different ways that you can make potato pancakes. And they always say it's best to make it your way, not somebody else's way, right? All right, so with that being said, we're going to wait till these get nice and golden brown. And we're going to flip them over. And at the same time, don't forget, we are making a bacon onion quiche. And it will be done in about nine more minutes. I'm going to show y'all how it looks in the oven as we speak right now. Hope y'all can see that. That's the quiche, guys. It's looking pretty good in there. <laughs> Woo, I can't wait. Y'all know I told y'all I'm greedy. I get real excited when it comes to food now. I be like, num num, let's do it. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, so. Nine minutes and less and counting down. And let me turn this fire up a little tad bit, but it's supposed to be at a medium heat. I have a mixture of olive oil and butter in my pan. Okay. And we want them nice golden brown. And like I told you, I have put a mixture of egg. Um... What else did I put in there? That's potatoes, the egg, a little bit of butter I mixed up in there. Uh, and you know what? I put a little cinnamon in, cinnamon in there. But at the same time, um, my potatoes, I waited a little bit, tiny, too long. Where they, You know how potatoes, you leave them out long, they'll get brown. So me adding cinnamon didn't make it no better. But that's okay because you know what? I'm going to eat them and they look good to me. So right now I'm going to go ahead and see... Nope, not ready quite yet. But at the same time, I shredded my potatoes, if you wanted to know. And I'm going to show y'all the tool. I use this gadget to shred my potatoes. 
And then what you want to do is you want to take a paper towel or a big towel and you want to dry out all that liquid out of the potato because if you don't, it's not going to fry the way you want it to. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to check on these sausages. I'm going to flip them over. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. These are maple sausages. Okay. All right. So I'm just showing y'all. But at the same time, let me see. Is it time yet? Because I told y'all they're going to be nice and crispy. We got six minutes and counting down for the um the quiche that's in the oven. Y'all lost my train of thought. Oh my honey, that quiche is coming along, y'all. It's coming along. And that's good. So we're gonna have some applesauce on the side with our tomato pancake. Tomato Lord, did y'all hear me? It's potato pancake. Okay. So we're gonna have some applesauce on the side with that. Um I'll probably as usual do a little taste with y'all so y'all can see how it comes out. Let me see how they looking right now. Ooh, yes, baby. Yeah. Nice. That's how you want. Well, that's how we want it. Nice and crispy. Yes. Yes. How about this one. Flip it. Yes. Y'all see that? That's how that's that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna put it up to the camera. I want it looking just like that. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna let those cook. And I'm gonna be back because I gotta do some more chopping up. Get my plate ready because I'm just that greedy. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. TT305. Sausages. Almost done, but not quite. And I already showed you the keys that's in the oven. So with that being said, we're going to have our brunch with TT305. Get ready, get ready. All right, guys. All right. Be back, TT305 TV. Hey, guys. TT305 is back. I'm trying to see here. So over here, you can see the potato pancakes. How good that look. Nom, nom. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. And we got the quiche going over there. I'm just going to put the last bit of potato pancakes in the pan for y'all. Okay. And then I'm going to show y'all up close how the quiche came out. That bacon onion quiche. Ooh wee. Bacon onion quiche. Onion quiche. Oh, oh my goodness. OMG. Let me see. Can y'all see? Yes, y'all can see. Okay. We gotta turn that fire up a little bit more. But everything is coming out so, so, so good. I'm so glad. I can't wait to taste my quiche though. Cause this, I think it's my, yeah, I wanna say it's my first time making this kind of the onion bacon quiche. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're gonna let that cook. Um, I'm gonna show y'all this is the potato pancakes, guys. Num num, and I'm gonna put that right on over to this way on the counter. And I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all see the sausages done. Okay, done, 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 done. So that's also gonna be in a little pan or on the side here. I'm gonna put this together for like two minutes. Okay. Well, I'm oh, this is my sausage and grass salad. And let me put this sausage on the side here, y'all. Hold on. Actually, I want it to sit on a paper towel. I don't want it just to sit in that pan of grease like that. So we're going to sit it right there on the side. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now. I need a pie holder to show y'all this quiche. Okay. Because this table just came out the oven. Still hot. Look at that. Don't they look good, y'all? 
Look at that. Came out so good. Yes. It came out so good. I'm going to put that back down. And once this get done, I'm going to go ahead and get my plate going. And we're going to eat together. And I'll be right back. Okay? TT305 TV. What's up? What's up? What it do? What it do? Alrighty. All right, guys. T T T T T T T T three hundred five is back. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all. Already made Fury's plate. This is the quiche, and mm, it is so good. And as y'all can see, the potato pancakes. I'm gonna bring it over a little tad bit more, and I'm going to cut me a piece. <laughs> so excited, and put it on my plate. And I'm going to sausage. Just put me a sausage on there. And a potato pancake. And some sauce, applesauce. Because what you do with potato pancakes, you eat it with or dip it with applesauce. Okay. And I'm going to cut my little potato pancake up so y'all can see the inside. And I'm going to... Put that camera up and this is the doo-doo, the doo-doo. Everything look like it came out so good. I'm a man up this way. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm about to fall over. <laughs> I'll let y'all see my plate. Num num. And we gonna try it out. So I'm gonna dip it. Mm. It's different. Tastes pretty good. Mm-hmm. No, not bad. All right. We already know sausage is good. Mm hmm Now I'm going to try this. Okay, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so good. This onion bacon quiche. Y'all better try that. It is good. Let me y'all. Y'all can see the inside of it. Uh-oh, I done dropped it. Hold on, because we don't waste food at all. <laughs> mm, look at the inside of it. You see that? Mm. Look at that. Y'all, so good. It got bacon, onions, peppers, the works. This, I ain't lying. But, so good. Mmm. 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 I haven't had potato pancakes since my mom passed, basically, because she used to make it all the time, so. I want some more, Mommy. You like it? Yes, I love it. It is so good. So, so, so <laughs> good. Yum, yum. Oh, my God, good. Yeah. Delicious. Mmm. I'm trying to tell y'all that keys. Oh my God. So, I'm going to put this up. I can see it. And y'all can see the inside of it. It came out so good. 
So good. Bacon, onion, quiche. What the heck just happened? On TV? Yeah. No. This thing is broken. <laughs> it's broken. So with that being said, y'all, please, if you like what you see, hit that like button. Everything came out delicious. I am so glad I made this. Please try this. No joke. It is so good. And the pancake. Oh, my God. Potato pancakes. I don't know. We got about maybe four or five left of that, but. Good. So good. Mmm. Y'all. So good. So we'll be having this for today and tomorrow. Leftovers. If it's some left. Hi right, guys. Oh my goodness. Here. I'm a man down. And y'all can see. When I cut it. Y'all can look at it. And see for yourself. Y'all see that? So good. Mmm. So, so. So, so. So good. <laughs> So, so, so good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Let me know if you like the video. Okay? Let me know where you're looking at. Where you're watching from. What state? What city? Let me know. Let me know your name. Say, hey. This is TT305. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and let me know, y'all. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Try to get out videos. I always try to. Two to three videos a week. Let me know. All right. Bye. TT305 TV.